Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to another Toys I Would Never Buy video. So this video might be a bit more suggestive. Suggestive? I mean, okay, I guess that's what I meant. I guess that's the word I was going for. No, it's more like, I don't know, this video is more like up to debate, I guess, because I don't hate anything in this video. There's nothing that I have a real burning hatred of, and I've actually considered buying these things on more than one occasion. No, that's a lie. Maybe, like, one occasion. But these are just some things that I would never consider spending some, like, my own money on. Like, if they were at a thrift store, I probably wouldn't want them either. It's just something that I don't have any interest in collecting. Like, maybe I've bought these things one-off before, didn't really care for it, and then I just... That was the end of that. But, yeah, just don't get your panties in a twist over what I have to say. Because you literally clicked on this video of your own choice. So, <laughs> if you get mad by what's on my list, um, yeah, I'm glad you can enjoy these things. They're just not my forte, not my interest. So, let's, let's just do it. We're going to be starting off with something that some of you actually told me that you thought I would like. I looked at them and I decided that I am not a fan. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um... This is called Secret Crush, and they are by MGA, I believe. I don't actually know what brand makes these. But um, they come in different sizes. The large ones cost around $40, I believe, and I don't know how much the small ones are. But I do know that I don't really like the way they look. They just kind of look like baby dolls, and they're also mostly made of plastic, and that's something that I usually don't like in a doll. Like, I like when my dolls have like, real clothes and, like, real hair that you can brush. Um, I would say LOL tots are usually an exception, though I do tend to lead towards the ones with real hair. So, like, I enjoy the hair goals line, for instance, more than, like, say, um, the series ones, you know? Like, I like hair goals series two more than remix. No, wait, actually, I think the remix ones had hair. I can't think of a line that doesn't have hair right now, like a specific name, because I like Winter Disco. No, not Winter... Yeah, Winter Disco. I like those ones, too. But I'm getting off topic. So, these things have a cute theme. Um, I would say that they look kind of Japanese-inspired, like the whole kawaii culture thing. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. Like, it looks like they're trying to appeal to, like, that crowd in a way. Little girls who like sweets and sugar and stuff, like big fancy fairy wonderland... That seems to be, like, the whimsical kind of aspect that these are trying to appeal to. So, they're cute, I guess. Like, maybe if I saw one... Oh my god, they're all so white. <laughs> there is little to no diversity in this line. Um, yeah, that's not a good look. These characters are all pale as shit. <laughs> Wow, this looks like Rainbow High Series 1. At least, no, actually, Series 1 at least had Skylar and Sunny. This one. Wow. Wow, okay. <laughs> this is this is the white bread aisle. <laughs> um, so, overall, I'd say the dolls are pretty cute. I just don't really have an interest in them. I feel like they're all dressed kind of similar. And I get, and I get, like, that coming from, like, a Monster High fan is... No, actually, Monster High had pretty unique fashion at points. Huh. I don't know. Point is, they're over. They're overpriced, and... Yeah, I just probably wouldn't want to spend my money on these. The next toy that I would never buy are Shopkins. So, I don't know if these are actually still being produced. I feel like I still see them at the store, but I, I don't know. Point is, um... I don't know. When I was younger, I probably would have adored these things because, like, I was super into Mighty Beans when I was a kid. <laughs> if you don't know what Mighty Beans are, it's like those beans that, like, you could roll them around and they would kind of flip over themselves. And they had, like, a little bean inside, so that's why they're called Mighty Beans. But they're also bean-shaped, so, yeah. Um, I used to collect those. I used to love collecting small things like this. I think I actually still have my Mighty Beans collections. Yeah, I think I keep them under my bed. They're probably covered in my hair because I'm constantly shedding. And somehow that hair ends up under my bed. But, um, 
weird facts about me aside, these are something that I'm surprised have actually lasted as long as they have. Um, I'm sorry if you're like a major Shopkins fan. I'm not trying to diss you or anything. It's just like, I feel like these have been around for... When did these come out? Like 2012, 2013? Maybe I'm like, maybe I'm overshooting. Maybe they haven't been around that long, but I feel like they've been around for a really long time. Like, I feel like I've been hearing about Shopkins as long as I had been hearing about Monster High. Though, again, all my child years kind of just blur together. I don't know when to section things off, and there's no reason for that. I just have a shit memory. <laughs> um, but I would also like to include the Shoppies in this. Because, once again, their clothes are mostly plastic, I believe. I have exactly one Shoppy doll. And I also, I had another one, but I sold her on Mercari because I didn't want her anymore. But um, the one that I have is one, it's got like pink hair. I think her name is Emma, Gemma, Gemma Stone. I think that's her name. And it's like an Emma Stone pun or something. I have no idea. Is Emma Stone a real person? I have no idea. But um, yeah, it's like these things are kind of cute. And I appreciate that most of the time they have real hair. But the faces are just not really my thing. I know I said that about Rainbow High too, and I know a bunch of you are going to be like, oh, I think you're going to start collecting these, but I just think that they're a little overpriced for being so small. Um, I've had the one that I have for years now, and I've never thought about picking up another one. It's mostly just because they don't really catch my eye. Sometimes I see them like at Ross and I think about it, but then I'm like, nah, I've got too much shit. But I guess that doesn't stop me from buying Bratz dolls. I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say here is that I would never go out of my way to buy a Shoppy doll. Though I did find one that I kind of liked when I was looking things up. I thought this one looked cute. And then I found out that she is a collector's edition, so it makes sense that they would try harder on the collector ones. But, oh wow, her arms pose. That is inch resting. <laughs> but, yeah, I wouldn't go out of my way to collect these, but they are cute. So, um, props to anyone who has a big collection of them. That could never be me. Next up on my slander list, we have these, um, these Disney style dolls, I believe they're called. Um, the thing is that the clothes are actually really cute, you know? Like, a majority of the time when I see these dolls at the store, I'm like, wow, their outfits are cute. But then it's just like the faces that kind of ruin it for me. Like, something feels so off about this Ariel's face. I was gonna buy her, actually. I was majorly considering it. Sorry, I've got hiccups, kind of. Because of the nostalgia that I have with Ariel being my favorite Disney princess and all. But, like, something just feels so off about the face. Like, I don't know if it's the shape or, like, the eyes, but something about her just doesn't look right. So that's the reason that I would kind of don't like these. Um, with Rapunzel, I only saved um, three examples. I'm not going to go over all of them. But with Rapunzel, I just feel like they did the same thing where like they just can't ever get her face right. When you compare it to like the way she looked in the Tangled movie, I feel like it's definitely difficult to like translate that 3D model into a doll. And that's probably the struggle that they've been dealing with ever since Rapunzel's like introduction. But, like, I don't know. I just feel like this one is a little better than Ariel, but at the same time doesn't look right. And I think it might have something to do with the rooted lashes. Um, Unpopular opinion. I don't like rooted l lashes on, like, a doll. Um, With pull-ups, it's fine because they're not rooted. It's just attached to the eye chips and they wink and stuff. And I feel like the lashes make it look more complete, like the doll. But when it comes to dolls that, like, have no blinking function and they just have lashes rooted in, like Collector Draculaura from Monster High, for instance, I feel like that was a time when it was done, like, well. But, like, I just feel like the rooted lashes come across looking really, like, chunky. And, like, it doesn't look very good. Like, when you think of, like, what customizers usually do where, like, they glue on false lashes... I think that looks good because, like, you can actually see the individual lashes. But, like, on dolls like these with the rooted lashes, it just doesn't look right. Also, this outfit is really lazy. 
Like, Mulan is literally Chinese, and the best they could do was, like, put some petals on this. Like, there are so many interesting things from Chinese culture that they could have taken to make her, like, outfit here. It's, like, still cute. I think this is, like, one of my favorite outfits uh, tied with Ariel. But at the same time, I just feel like they could have done more. Like, okay, what is that thing called? It's, like, an ao dai or something. I probably said that wrong. But I know that I've seen it before, and, like, they could have done one of those, and it would have looked great. Um, overall, I think Mulan might be one of my favorites. Her face still feels kind of off, though. And once again, it's probably the rooted lashes. But that's just a personal gripe I have. So I wouldn't buy these dolls unless, like, you know, they've changed Ariel's face. Next up, we have a line that was actually, it was pretty difficult to find pictures for these because I didn't want to, like, pull custom dolls and talk shit about, like, someone's hard work. But, um... I couldn't find many stock images of these dolls. They are Blythe dolls, and I believe that they either inspired Polyp or are inspired by Polyp, or maybe they're made by the same creator. I don't know. I just know that they're pretty similar to Polyp because they have, like, the eye mechanisms and the very big heads and stuff. And stuff. And stuff. I was trying to say stuff and such at the same time. <laughs> yeah. But overall, I don't really see the appeal of these dolls. I just feel like their faces are a little too plain. But maybe the whole point is that you're supposed to customize them and make them look like you want them to. But at the same time, I don't feel like their face mold is, like, really appealing. I know that to a lot of you, it probably just looks like an average pull-up face mold. But the pull-up eyes, I feel like, have more of a shape to them. When here, it's just like a circle, like, cut-out thing. Their bodies are also really unarticulated like back to this picture which was from the official wikipedia page the arms don't have any like points of articulation other than the shoulder as for the legs it looks like their legs might bend but i have no idea i couldn't really find a picture that wasn't a custom that had the legs showing so yeah overall i'm just not a real big fan of these whereas i love pull it even though i haven't bought one since karomi it's because they're so damn expensive. But I believe these catch a pretty high price online too, so I'm probably in the, minor in the minority by not liking them. But, you know, it's just my opinion. I don't think that I would ever want to spend my money on one of these. But overall, that brings us to the end of this video. Once again, if you like these things, that's great for you. I'm just personally not a fan. Um, you're welcome to express the things you like in the comments, doll-wise. I don't know where I'm going with this. But um, once again, as always, you guys are welcome to ask me about more, like, dolls or toys that you think I might like. I always appreciate suggestions. Um, but yeah, overall, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!